Less than two weeks away now, and local food vendors, they're getting ready for the big game, too. Yeah, everybody's getting ready. They're hoping the Super Bowl excitement will help them turn a sweet profit. ABC Action News reporter Vanessa Ariza caught up with one vendor ready to serve up some sweet treats. If the excitement doesn't get you revved up for the big game on February 7th, this sugar will. I loved baking and I was always baking and then giving stuff away. That love turned into a profit five years ago. Jill Rollo bought an Airstreamer and was doing well selling her cupcakes. And then pandemic. It was the first year that I got in on the mayor's uh, St. Patrick's Day event, uh, the River Oak Green, and that of course got canceled. But she may have just gotten a business Hail Mary of her own. She was among the local vendors chosen by the Business Connect program. It's a joint effort between the NFL and Super Bowl host committee to represent her goods during the week's activities. I never in a million years thought, you know, I would get a call back for it or something. She and other vendors were supposed to be part of a tailgate party, but the virus has shifted things around a bit. Nonetheless, Jill's business is still part of the party. I'm a firm believer and, you know, everything happens for a reason and connections come the way connections come. Jill says she is a huge football fan, so just being able to be in the mix and a part of Super Bowl 55 is a win for her. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.